So Moyu has been on top of releasing so many new releases within the past six or seven months and Today I'm going to be comparing all of those cubes because all of these cubes that Moyu have released all have different versions and we're going to be talking about them and comparing which one you should get. We're going to be comparing them in terms of features, feel, unboxing experience, and performance. And those are going to be the main four categories I'm going to be doing today and this is all going to be a subjective opinion on all of these. So let's get started. Like I mentioned earlier, before I get into any of these comparisons, all of these cubes have different versions. The Super RS 3M has three versions, Standard, Maglev, and Ballcore. The YS 3M has four versions, the Standard, Maglev, Ballcore, and Ballcore UV. And the Weilong V9 has three versions, Standard, Maglev, and Ballcore UV coded. So most of these have similar versions to each other. To simplify it a bit, I'm going to be going over the higher end versions of these cubes, but when I make the recommendations, I am going to be mentioning the other versions of those cubes because, well, I don't really recommend getting the higher end versions of some of these cubes, except for probably the Y3M, but yeah. So all of these cubes have almost the same features, consistent between each version. For example, the standard versions only having a normal corner edge magnetization and a dual adjustment system that has been present since the GTS3. We're going to talk about the higher end versions here. So aside from the features that were already mentioned in the standard versions, all three cubes have corner to core magnets situated inside a ball core with the Worm V9 having edge repelling magnets to increase the auto lining feature like on the GAN13. What all of these cubes don't have though is adjustable magnets. So you'll have to deal with the magnet strength to get out of the box. And speaking of magnet strength, the Super RS3M has the weakest out of the three, although it's stronger than the RS3M 2020, the YS3M is in the middle, and the Worm V9 has the strongest magnet strength out of the three. So one reason you may buy a cube aside from the most important quality of the cube, the performance, is the feel. All these cubes have a different feel and it can really influence whether or not you like the cube or not. With the Super RS3M, it has a blocky feel and a clickier sound than the RS3M 2020 and the YS3M is slightly less blocky than me but it's still kind of present and it's a bit more stable and the sound is a mix between the RS3M 2020 and the Super RS3M. The Weilong WRM V9 is a lot more flexible and has a feel in between a Moyu cube and a modern gang cube and the sound of this cube is really satisfying. So one of the first things you do when you get a new cube is, of course, unbox it. And what is the unboxing experience like on these cubes? Well, the Super RS3M doesn't really have that much of a quote unquote premium unboxing experience. It's just the normal Super RS3M box with the box you would see with the Waylongs inside it and with plastic wrap. The YS3M's unboxing experience is a bit better with the box looking a bit like the GAN 11M Pro's box, but it has a dumb box that was really difficult for me to open. It also had a Yushun Du card inside as the first thing you see when you open the box as well. The Worm V9's unboxing experience is pretty much similar to the YS3M's unboxing experience, except with a different looking box and the same stupid box the YS3M had. All three have an accessories box with a pamphlet, a screwdriver, adjustment tools, and a spare compression cup. Now, this is the most important part of why you want to buy a cube, the performance, and for most of these, it's pretty good. The corner cutting on all of these cubes is pretty much on par with each other, and it's no secret that most cubes on the market, except for the Tangen V3 and the MS3X, are pretty good in terms of corner cutting. All of them can do 45 degrees normal corner cutting, and the reverse corner cutting is pretty good. Now, in terms of speed, out of the box, all of them were pretty fast, with the Worm V9 being way too fast for my liking, but after setting the Super RS3M with Mystic, Silk, Wave 5, and DNM, the YS3M with Mystic, Silk, and DNM, and Mystic, Silk, and weight 5 on the Worm V9, they're all out of controllable speed for me. I can perform really well on the Super RS3M and the YS3M, and those cubes do the things I want them to do just fine, although on those cubes I do sometimes mess up on algorithms and end up missing a turn because of the blockiness of those cubes. And on the Worm V9, because of the flexibility of the cube, most of the things I want to do on the cube work really well, although because of the speed of the cube, I end up turning layers I don't want to by accident or end up overturning, but I definitely still need to get used to the cube because of that. I recommend on the Worm V9, you turn a bit more lightly considering the speed of that cube. So now after all of that, 
which one should you buy? And I think obviously the first thing is going to be is it depends on what features you need. But I think for a more comprehensive list right now, for most people, I would recommend either the standard or maglev Super RS3Ms, the Ballcore YS3M, and the Ballcore Waylong V9. I think for most people, you probably won't go wrong with the standard or maglev Super RS3Ms. And if you want corner core magnets, get the YS3M. And if you want the best cube that Moyu has to offer right now, then definitely get the UV coated ball core version of the Waylon WRMV9. And I don't think you'll be able to go wrong with any of those cubes. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. If you want to try any of the other versions that I didn't really recommend in this video, you can obviously do that. But I think for now, I think that's pretty much it. I'll probably put a link in the description for all of those cubes there. Oh yeah, and also be sure to subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Bye.